Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your twin flame reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, today is the 12th of April, a very important time in terms of the new moon phase. The new moon is in Aries, which is a critical time of the year to set your intentions and cultivate your vision. So please set your intentions uh, this evening for that new moon um, and watch it rise. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know regarding their twin flame? Ooh, quite chaotic energy. Uh, I'm just going to get the overall energy and see what's happening for the dates, uh, the 12th of April right through to the 12th of May, 2021. Thank you so much. Whoa. Explosive energy. We have long distance. Okay. But what's interesting about this particular card, it is on the horizon. Um, there's a few obstacles. Whoa. That energy is quite powerful. Just knocked um, this bloodstone right off uh, <laughs> my deck there. Um, so we have True Gem. And we also have destiny. Now they have asked me to go one more, so I will. Um, but there's definitely an energy here, uh, Virgo, of um, sort of destiny intervening. Um, what I am getting here is um, definitely, if you know the twin flame journey, there's resistance. Uh, there's often a chaser and a runner, and there's a separation period. Um, it seems like destiny is intervening in the situation to bring communication back together with you and your person. Um, I will clarify the energy a little bit deeper, but we also have spiritual growth there. Now we got true gem, and this is an energy of... Um, got a very, very pure heart, my beautiful Virgo. Um, I say that uh, with a slight... Um, how can I put that? It's like sadness because I know what you have to offer here. Uh, such a pure heart, full of good intentions. Um, and you really are, uh, what the card says, a true gem to people, especially that you let within your social circle. And now you don't let everyone in there, but um, you've got such a, um, a nurturing, a supportive, healing way about you that it's such a shame that um, you're going through the toughest part of uh, the Twin Flame journey, which is a separation period. But what they are indicating that often when you uh, mine for precious stones, there's a lot of sort of uh, rock or gunk and mud and soil all around those precious stones before you really get to the good stuff, okay? So they're really indicating here that um, you're digging deep. You may have even gone through Dark Night of the Soul. I feel like it has brought that spiritual um, ascension there and destiny is intervening, that is for sure. Now, they've asked me to go again in this deck. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know regarding their twin flame journey? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What? Are, whoa. I mean, Virgo, I don't know if you can see or feel the energy that's in this reading, but that card just literally shot right out of the deck. i got to go get it. It's over there. One moment, please. Oh, my gosh. We have make the effort and getting to know each other. It's quite, quite explosive here. Um... Now, as I said, I will be clarifying uh, these cards, but they're indicating here, um, great love is worth the steps you're guided to take. So really uh, check in with your intuition there, Virgo. If you found that you are the chaser in the Twin Flame Union, um, that indicates, you know, it's time to take the foot off the pedal, as it were. Um, when you spiritually ascend, you start to notice it's all about loving yourself, okay? Once you love yourself fully, because uh, Twin Flame often triggers uh, each other's wounding or trauma, you, you often find um, that your twin has gone through a similar lifestyle to you, um, and you trigger each other, and it's about learning to love yourself again from the grassroots up, okay? We've also got getting to know each other, and it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I do feel like you and this person will get an opportunity to, to have a conversation. But what they are giving me here is when you make the effort, if you're the one always making the effort, Virgo, um, then you'll, I mean, come on. Seriously, that's literally, I mean, this energy is really uh, quite powerful. Uh, I'm just going to go get these ones. One moment, please. Healing family issues. 
So yeah, some sort of perhaps ancestral wounding here, uh, sins of the mothers and fathers kind of energy. If you found you've emulated some sort of pattern with your twin flame, uh, that is because uh, the, the wounding has been passed on to you. Um, that doesn't help you, of course, my beautiful Virgo, but it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, they are indicating here that um, there is like a residue here of, I feel very much like a very distant uh, father figure here. Um, actually, I'm getting two energies, which is really strange. I'm getting two energies. One is an absent father figure and one is a, a mother figure who is also passed. Now, this may not have been um, both situations uh, for your person or you um I, it's either or okay um so i feel like the mother the mother figure would have passed on in early years um that it is a separate energy to what i'm getting which is another energy of a masculine figure a guardian or father type figure who was absent now they may have been in and out of the of your life or um so please take it as it resonates um but we've got forgiving forgiving so it's really about starting from the very, very uh, base there. Now, we've also got give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I mean, both of these cards, uh, you know, getting to know each other, make the effort. They're indicating that there is spiritual ascension here and that your person is ascending. So uh, there will be an opportunity to talk to this person, um, have a communication. I feel like this person... Destiny is intervening to bring you and this person back together. Let your friends help you and stay optimistic about your love life. Now, you may have been questioning the twin flame union, my beautiful Virgo, and thinking, is this a thing? Is this person really my twin flame? Um, is this, you know, a false flame? What's going on here? But Virgo, when you know, you know. Now, I don't want to speak about cliches here, but Virgo, you're very uh, analytical. Um, you lead with the mind. Of course, you lead with the head also. But you also like to get like a fair, balanced opinion. You're not going to rush all in with that heart. You're going to analyze it a little bit first and see what's what. So if your intuition is telling you that this is your twin flame and you just know, you can bet your bottom dollar that you've checked in with your heart, you've checked in with your gut, you've checked in with your head several times before you've actually calculated that, yes, this is your twin flame, okay? Now, you may be trying to talk yourself out of this energy because uh, it's very painful. Not everybody gets to be with their twin flame because it is a difficult journey, but not just that. Um, it depends on your spiritual journey and uh, your twin flame may not have... Uh, spiritually ascended as much as you just yet I feel like you are the uh, I feel like at the moment you're the more grounded one that's the energy that I'm getting here let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others now from this card I'm getting an energy that there is one of your friends who is a seer okay I feel like this person uh, they do not particularly like your twin flame or uh, I feel like this person um may find that this relationship is damaging, okay? Uh, but even though they're a seer, uh, it's almost like maybe they say that they refuse to look for you or they say they can't see for you um, with regards to this person. Now, either they're being blocked or um, they don't want to tell you because they don't like the pain that you've been going through here. Uh, but anyway, we'll clarify that energy. We've got stay optimistic about your love life. And it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so definitely, as you can see, she's op offering up there um, some flowers to uh, the universe, as it were, for uh, love there. But they, what they're really uh, showing me right here is there's like a garland over here that's not decorated just yet. It's a victory wreath. So there will be victory, uh, but the work is being done between you and your twin flame at this time. Let's go and get uh, some overall energy for the month. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? How would you like to receive? Okay. We got, yeah, look at this. We got the uh, death card right there, scorpionic energy. Now, Virgo, I feel like there's an energy here of you doubting this uh, twin flame connection and really thinking you've done the work and this person has left you 
um, either abandoned the connection or pushed you away uh, because they're really highlighting right now this this hand the destiny hand they're giving it to me like a stop hand I feel like your person your twin flame um, is resisting the destiny they know the destiny they know that you are their destiny and that you are their twin flame this person could be Scorpio could be Aries I am gonna go again there but there's an energy here Virgo of you going you know what I don't I just can't do this anymore something needs to change now I feel like this card is the harbinger of transformation uh, of transformation for you here I feel like you're shedding anything that is old any patterns anything that's familiar so if your twin flame comes in saying hey I miss you and it's all empty words and you just can't take it up to the next level I feel like you're cutting that out you're culling okay I feel very much like you're almost pruning your life Virgo to get something that is more healthy something that you can work with okay I also feel like um, this person has been resistant to the connection and it's left the connection stagnant um, I also feel like this person is really obsessed with you Virgo uh, I will uh, check that energy out uh, but I feel like you are sort of in a position where you're thinking you know what something's got to give something's got to change here and I feel like you are the catalyst for this now either you're stepping away from a pattern and if this person uh, sort of messages you you know just as I was saying messages you I, I, I went to say tweets you and I, I, I mean I'm not really au fait with uh, <laughs> technical things I tried like Instagram and I tried Twitter but it's 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 not something I can get to grips with too often uh, but just as I was about to say it they said tweet mm -hmm. so if that's this person's mode of conversation I don't know how that sort of thing works um, then there's something in this message for you perhaps this person just does something really like uh, random like like a tweet and you're like really I mean really there's more between us than you just liking something okay you, there's a conversation that needs to be had here I feel like you're ignoring this or changing the pattern here it's to make way for uh, something that is better but you need to release the old in order to embrace the new now whether this means that you're trying to renew the, the connection with your twin flame and make it a healthier one or whether it is you're walking away from this person I feel like there's a loss of hope here I feel like you feel cynical and you think the only thing uh, left to do here is call time on it over the death bell you don't want to but I feel like you're thinking that you have to okay um, now we've got the um, magician card here this is an energy of um, focusing on manifesting somebody new okay I feel like there's definitely potential here I feel like you're gaining your confidence after a certain um, unease or maybe you even felt like you were powerless in this situation Virgo but I feel like you're taking back the power um, I feel like this person has been resistant um, has scattered their energy wasted their time but this person also feels like you've got unfinished business this person's not willing to let this go I feel like they're quite obsessed with you but I just get this energy of you like again they're showing me really highlighting the magician's hand which is stop stop so I feel like you're looking at who you are Virgo how far you've come what you've got to offer people in terms of love and I feel like you're you're like if this person is not stepping up to the plate spiritually and meeting you halfway in this connection I feel like it's almost like you're you're look you're human who, who has desires and needs right you can't be blamed for not wanting to wait for your twin flame this person may have left you waiting for a long time but I feel like you're thinking about healthy love and you're focusing on um, taking action to get somebody new okay you wished it was your twin flame but I feel like there's a, a sh sort of a shift here where you're thinking is this even a, a thing is this is twin flame is it even a journey is this happening we got the hermit card Virgo there is your energy they're really indicating here that you're walking away now a lot of people could be uh, you know screaming at the screen like no I'm not walking away but what you don't realize Virgo is that in the walking away of the twin flame journey when you finally stop chasing if you feel like you're the chaser in that relationship that is when the cord gets activated that is when your twin flame notices energetically that you've disconnected from them and they come towards you okay this is an energy of you've endured a lot 
And even though there may be some embers still um, burning away for this person, the bear represents endurance and uh, inner strength and resolve. Um, this is a solitary energy, okay? And you, it's been time for you to take time out, um, really uh, sort of reflect on things, find the truth of who you are, and heal those part of you, those parts of you that really needed attention. That often we don't get to give ourselves in the day to day. You know, we're so bombarded with media and you know. Um, um, events and everything like that and we always feel like we're having to do and do uh, that we forget about some parts of ourselves that need really a, a lot of attention okay uh, now we've got the devil card okay so this is about especially in the unified position as I said this person is obsessed with you I'm getting a strong energy with this person this person could be Capricorn they could be another Virgo as well Aries or uh, Scorpio or have placements in those areas this person's got two things uh, energy that I'm getting here one is this person's got fear, okay? And they also like drama. And you may not like that part about them. Uh, it may even be the exciting part of, of them at the, at the first, the passion, the drive, the drama, but uh, it's not sustainable, okay? There's deep love here, and this person may have resisted the connection, may have used a sort of sexual uh, action, as intimacy as it were um i feel like this person maybe was not ready when they first met you i mean that's an obvious thing to say so let's scrap that but you know what i mean um also the devil card as you can see the, the moon is there which creates an illusion and uh the devil is uh, in a shadow there it's actually been be created by something else a pair of hands it really is not that scary when you think about it but it's creating the illusion of something to fear um now this is where you're gonna shoot the messenger. Um, I'm getting an energy that you're thinking about walking away. This person's gonna to come towards you and talk, okay? All the cards are indicating that yes, this is your twin. Yes, you know, um, make the effort. And you may be thinking, I made the effort. I made the effort a million times. And this person checked out, okay? Um, Sorry, they're just giving me something. They're giving me something. Either someone's burnt their scalp or there's some sort of sore, is it, there's sore scalp, okay? It's just really, uh, on one side in particular, the right side they're giving me. So either you've been in the sun and you've burnt your scalp or something, or um, there's some sort of maybe uh, allergy or something. It feels quite tender. So I, I can only imagine it's burnt or there is some sort of, um, how can I put it? Some sort of allergy that has made it that sore, okay? So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not gonna speak to everybody, okay? Um, if it does not speak to you, it does not mean it's uh, not your reading. They're just indicating that they want that person to pay close attention. Uh, what, are, what they are giving me here, um, my beautiful Virgo, is that um, you're gonna be given an opportunity to make this relationship work should you wish to. We all have free will, you may not want to, um, but because I feel like you're in an energy of ending this, okay? I mean, this is the protagonist energy. That is the end, this is change, okay? It's interesting because the change has shown up here as well, which is really interesting because what's crossing it is the king of earth, which indicates as soon as you uh, affect change, this is the heart of the matter, okay? Uh, along comes someone to invest solidly in your union, okay? We will clarify those cards in a moment, um, but this, this card and this card suggests you're walking away, okay? Because you've had enough. Um, you, you deserve love, you deserve passion, and um, you know you may be looking at all the um, negative qualities or the um, sort of uh, addictive qualities about this person and really asking yourself, can I resist this? I feel like you're trying to resist this as well. Um, and this person, they're very obsessed with you. I, I feel like we're gonna get some page of swords kind of energy where this person's checking you out on social media, that sort of thing, but anyway, let's move on. We got transformation. Um, I'll ask why um, they're checking you out online and doing all these things obsessively um, or asking about you and they're not having a conversation with you. But anyway, let's see. So we got scorpionic energy here again, the death card. So this is the heart of the matter. Exactly the same energy that you got there in a different deck. So they're indicating you're, you're thinking about change. You need to transformation, sorry, you need to transform this relationship um, or uh, you know, it, it's just not gonna work. For your highest good, you recognize that the, the toxic cycles or um, the pattern needs to stop or you're walking away. I feel like um, you're trying to work out which is which. Also, as you can see in this particular deck, this figure, she's blowing the embers. Now, all the embers there, that fire, there's still passion there. There's still drive. There's still spark. 
okay but it may have settled you know when a fire sort of settles and it's got that sort of cold gray ash on top doesn't mean it's gone away doesn't mean that there's not passion deep within but because it hasn't been visited for a while or stoked for a while uh, it's sort of laying dormant so it's, it's almost like you looking at what you got or blowing away the cobs webs and, and seeing what you've got and, and thinking about maybe either moving on to manifest someone new or actually um you know transforming this relationship for something more healthy um and the challenge here this is the challenge position is the king of earth now we've got scorpionic energy taurus energy here but what we're getting with the uh, the king of earth here is you just want this person to commit to you you want the highest level of commitment of all virgo and because you deserve it okay now this person may be another earth sign uh very slow to act they got earth placements perhaps but this person um you're you were hoping for something solid and sort of um you know to go the distance okay and uh, that has not occurred this person has not shown that follow-through now there's something here about this person they're quite a jealous person and there's something about this that that is one of the reasons why they would not commit to you Virgo you did not give them a reason to commit but there's something about this um, it's really interesting um, sorry I'm just gonna give you what I'm getting right now I'm hearing like um, wow this is something that's really powerful and not heard in a long time um, it's almost like Gregorian chant oh, let me get my tongue back in Gregorian chant okay like some sort of yeah like monks singing it doesn't sound ominous or anything like that but they were just I just heard that just now so either you're playing or were playing some sort of uh, some sort of Gregorian chant or chant music um, that sounded very peaceful um, and it just made me think of uh, like a chapel with um, uh, candles and things I mean I can't imagine you're listening to me in a chapel right now because that wouldn't be something that people would do um, but maybe you've got lots of candles around you're listening to this sort of music before you listen to this reading maybe it was a meditation or something uh, please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone the king of earth though this person there's a jealousy about this person and it's almost like I feel like this person your twin flame got burned in a relationship in the past perhaps just before you both met I'll pull a card on that but because the connection with you and this person was so deep this person they've got really deep jealousy issues okay and they don't like to commit to people on a deep level because they feel really destroyed when someone betrays them Thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please clarify this king of earth for my beautiful virgo this is the challenge position can you please clarify the challenge position the king of earth for my beautiful virgo oh, just want to make sure empress and the world yeah so we got a, an energy here this person does not feel good enough okay this person does not have the confidence they do not feel good enough virgo and um they they tend to sort of end cycles really quickly they just as soon as they start feeling like um there's someone has feelings for them it's almost like they bolt for the hills okay this person has not learned a lesson to love themselves fully just yet they are on their way but this person um they just feel like well they felt like they were not good enough next to you virgo this person questioned themselves quite a lot and as soon as jealousy starts raising or this person starts to feel like they're they don't feel like they're good enough for somebody or you uh, because this is what I feel um, they felt they were not good enough next to you I feel like this person knew that they were giving their heart fully to you and then they felt like they would be dependent on you they didn't like they did not like um, how can I put that they did not like the vulnerability here now either this person was older than you or felt like they um, that you wouldn't want someone who was older than you there's something about age here as well uh, it could also be to do with uh, you know uh, ch having children maybe this person had fertility issues there but this person has blocked connections you can see the world is instantly moving on because they feel like they're not good enough so that's what this person uh, is doing now that doesn't help you Virgo when you're standing alone there giving your heart to this person um, sorry I just need to pop that back there um, but I'm just giving you an energy that I'm picking up from this card this person does want to be all in Virgo believe it or not I feel like there is transformation coming for your twin flame union thank you so much spirit guys great angels what is below my beautiful Virgo boom okay uh, below here Virgo this is your card um, oh my gosh can we see justice is stuck to it as well uh, you just know that this person is right for you deep down you know this is your your person and they do as well uh, just to let you know this is the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed this one here 
Um, you only read this in the upright, okay? Just so you're aware. Um, but deep down, the thing that is carrying you through, because this is your underlying feelings, you know that this is your person, okay? You know it's a match. You know that this is the one. You know that it's twin flame. And Virgo, you know that this person knows. It's very com complicated. It's almost like you know that they know that you know that you're both twin flames, okay? Anyway, uh, you're a match. You're meant to be together, okay? So if you're questioning this union, it is not uh, an accident that this has shown up. The challenge here is getting this person to commit. Uh, now, how would you like to receive? Okay. So we have... Okay, uh, sorry, I just wanted to check there. We have the Justice card. This person is coming to um, sort of, I feel like this person may have talked to you um, either in the recent past or uh, is about to, but I feel very much like this person's uh, going to try and find a solution. They're coming on in with a conversation. This person knows that you're meant to be on the same life path as each other. And also this person may have been a little bit unfair to you and pushed you away. Um, they wanna make it right. They're actually judging themselves, Virgo. And it's interesting because you're also judging them too. I feel like you're judging them from a different space, which is I'm walking on. And they're judging uh, the situation, um, being accountable for their actions within this union. This person's really looking back at all the times that they either messaged you or said things to you that they, they blurted out in order to push you away. And now the way that they're looking at it is like, why did I say that? I didn't mean that. Why did I say it like that? And they're really looking at their defensiveness and also this energy where they just, they kept you at a distance because they did not want to get close because they knew. They knew that you had the power to hurt them because they knew that you were their, their match. They met their match with you, okay? Um, now, what is above you? And now, just to let you know, that's Libra energy right there. What is above you? Three of Earth. Okay, now the Three of Earth is really interesting because this is about uh, building upon solid foundations. So, especially in this particular deck. Now, what's interesting is you and this person may have met each other um, at a very sort of, um, they give me the word slippery time uh, in your life. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, well, I know what slippery means, but uh, what they're indicating here is that either you and this person had um, either come out of relationships with other people or you had, um, there was some sort of obsessive energy, uh, sort of uh, maybe even addictions, uh, maybe you met each other when there was uh, alcohol or drugs involved and it was, the, the foundation was not set, okay? So it's almost like you and this person succumbed to the passion of this union and that, um, you know, there was a, it's almost like you nearly got to the third peg in the foundation, but this person either checked out or there was some something going on there. They've asked me to go again. They said that is for you, okay? King of Water. Very, very interesting energy here, Virgo. Um, oh no, they want me to go again, so I will. Uh, this person, again, maybe Scorpionic energy here. Um, this person is, and I feel also you, spiritually ascending to connect with emotions, okay? This person is actually, it's almost like you and this person has a psychic bond, okay? Um, this person, um, they want to be fair. They're in a a part of their life right now where they want to be fair and they want to come on in. I'm going to pull a card on this just to check to see if, um, because we have a three of earth there, just want to check. You want me to go again? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Destiny is uh, definitely intervening in this situation. Uh, you can feel it from that card. Uh, I just want to clarify, um, because we got a Three of Pentacles there, I'm not getting a third party situation energy, but because there's two kings there, I want to clarify whether uh, it's more that this person is getting in touch with their emotions. Um, now, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, uh, but I just want to clarify, just in case, I don't want to miss anything. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify the Three of Earth with Thank you so much. Uh, okay, it's the same person. Uh, so what they're indicating, uh, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this person may have been in and out of your life. Uh, you may have even felt like this person was a player um, and you know they're very lusty, very free-spirited. They connected on a deep sexual level, uh, but you know these knights, out of all the decks, I'm just gonna show you in the upright, out of all the decks, I, want, uh, I don't wanna see this one coming on in if I want a solid relationship. Um, this person may have thought that you were a fling, Virgo, or you thought that they were a, a fling or something temporary, um, but they got feelings, okay? Now this person is coming on in, they want to settle down. They are literally trying to release their chaotic energy and they want to um, 
connect on a deeper level. So they're they're sort of learning to love themselves, um, and I feel like this person's coming to talk again. You may tell them, you know, to hit the hills that you're not interested because uh, you know it's been a long time coming. Uh, but fate is intervening in this situation. This person's coming back to talk to you, okay, Virgo. Very very strong energy here. Um, that there is change in the wind. I feel like there's karma. This person has received karma, and I feel like you're getting your good karma. This is destiny, and this person recognizes they cannot they cannot fight destiny. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Uh, they want all these three in the next position. Uh, so we have, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. We have the strength card. This was the lesson to learn for both of you. This is in the near future position. Uh, it's strength. And the strength card basically means love and respect for self. Having the courage to submit to love and to surrender to the union. Also, it's about that inner calm. You know, when we're younger, we have that sort of um, feisty kind of energy where we're go-getting and, you know, a lot of passion, but a lot of tumultuous energy. We're just getting to know ourselves and we never truly know ourselves. We're always learning and growing and evolving. But this person uh, struggled a lot with anger, I feel, and a lot of rage. And I feel like this person has a lot of pride. I also feel like maybe both you and this person had pride at one point. Um, you may have felt like this person was a temptation. Okay, uh, like there, it was like a moth to a flame. You knew that this person's energy wasn't right 100% there, but deep down you knew that this person was your person. This is a homemaker. The queen of earth is a homemaker. You know, uh, there's a lot of passion, fertility, and a slow burn kind of energy. You knew that this was your person, um, but this person, and I feel like you as well, Virgo, uh, you trigger things in each other to uh, sort of learn the lesson to love yourselves. Fully. Um, Virgo, uh, a little bit more of your energy here. We have the High Priestess. You just know that this person was meant for you. Um, now, again, we don't always have to um, be with our twin flame. If you feel like it's been like 20 years down the line and they've still not made a move, I mean, this person will struggle with spiritually evolving, but some people have heard from their twin flame out of nowhere because this person is thinking back to you. Whoever this person is, um, they just gave me the, the name Nelly. Nelly. So either your name is Nelly or that is a pet name. Um, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Or perhaps it's your person's name, Nelly. Maybe it's a nickname for them, Nelly. Uh, I'm not sure how it resonates, so just please take it as it resonates. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone, so please don't think it's not your reading if you if it does not connect with you. But the High Priestess indicates some things are meant to be known with the intuition and not with the intellectual mind. And Virgo, you may have overanalyzed this, but if this person has been treating you badly, of course nobody deserves to be treated badly. Also, please make sure you know what a twin flame journey is because uh, if your person is verbally or mentally abusing you in any way, that is not twin flame. I just want to clarify that there. But this person, your twin flame, is actually going to come and tell you how they feel. They're going to reveal um, a little bit about themselves. I also feel, Virgo, this person, because of their own jealousy issues, they mistrusted you. Okay, So either this person got burnt in a relationship in the past, they didn't feel they were good enough anyway, but I feel like this person may have been cheated on, on in the past, and um, or maybe you did as well. And I feel like there's a deep mistrust of both sides. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, but this person is coming to talk. We have the Ace of Fire here. They want to bring in new communication, uh, passionate new communication coming towards you uh, within the, I feel the month. I feel like you will hear from this person. Um, they have an urge to tell you how they feel. It's almost like this person feels like this is their last chance to tell you. Also, Virgo, if you're not wanting um, your twin flame back, obviously you wouldn't be listening to a twin flame journey reading, but if you do not wish to, I'm also getting an energy off that, that there is um, somebody uh, new coming towards you. Uh, now, they just give me the name Bianca. So if your name is Bianca or uh, your person's name is Bianca, uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. I mean, it could be the name of a company. It could be the name of a friend who introduces you to somebody. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. I'm just going to quickly clarify that Ace of Fire before we move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Yeah. So what they're indicating here um, with the Six of Swords in the reverse this Ace of Fire is from the, your person, your twin flame, because they cannot let you go, okay? Uh, the Six of Swords in reverse indicates uh, this person's unable to move on, okay? So they just, it's almost like this person's like, they want to check in with you and see if it's possible that you can heal this, 
okay? Fate is doing some very interesting things by sending this person a lot of karma, okay? Um, now, they're just showing me a product. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's got cows on it. <laughs> I mean, I feel it's more cheese than uh, milk or anything. I feel like it's something to do with cheese. Uh, so uh, if you're about to sort of chow down on some cheese that's made by cows, but it's got cows on the... It seems like it's got cows in the title and there's a cow on it. So if that's you, then there's something in this message for you, okay? Um... You know, I was going to say, because I just got this other feeling about someone being really allergic to it. Maybe that's the reason why the scalp, the person has got sore scalp or something. Uh, but I mean, a lot of people are allergic to dairy. So that could be like everybody, right? Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Um, what is the advice my beautiful Virgo is giving to themselves in this situation? What is the advice they are giving to themselves in this situation? The Hierophant. You want commitment? or you're not interested, okay? This is um, a higher level commitment card. You're, you're hoping that this person wants to settle down or wants to show you that they mean business, but also you're learning, Virgo. This is a learning card. The Hierophant indicates um, you're thinking about um, guidance, perhaps, spiritual guidance. Maybe you're doing some sort of meditative um, state kind of energy, maybe manifestation, the secret uh, the law of attraction, cosmic ordering. Um, but as you can see, we've got on the altar there, we've got a union rings. Uh, we've also got um, like a feather there. We've also got a, like a door knocker. We've got, I guess, some sort of wine. And I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but anyway, uh, also they just showed me a bulb of garlic, garlic right now. So if you're chopping up some garlic or then there's something in this message for you. Okay, I'm going to move on from that. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on. Uh, just just be careful chopping the garlic, okay? That's all I'm saying, okay? Just slow down. Anyway, uh, anyway, moving on. The Hierophant, um, there's learning here. You hope this person has learned their lesson and recognize that, um, you know, they've been pushing the union away and that basically this is a faded energy reading for sure. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Uh, can you please guide my beautiful uh, Virgo? What do they need to know uh, about the environment? I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is already uh, stepping in to play a part here. The environment, we got Messenger of Earth. So you're going to hear from this person, okay? Um, you've endured a lot and surrendered a lot. I feel like there's been a lot of sacrifice of your time and your effort with this person, Virgo. But this person is going to step up to the plate. This is the Messenger of Earth. This is the Knight of Pentacles, basically. Slow to act but solid. This person is finally coming on in to give you a message. Okay. Now, what is the hope and fear? Ten of fire. You're hoping that, you know, it's sort of an end to a contract. Perhaps that is the ancestral wounding contract, but I feel like the fear is you're about to walk away, Virgo. You feel like you've done your time in this, in this union and there's nothing more to be done. Now they have asked me to go again, um, in this position, but they're indicating this is a very stressful energy. You don't know whether you should stay or whether you should go. Um, I feel like also the ten of fire is you sort of, it's almost like you're burning it all to the ground, okay? You know that things need to change and be drastically changed. You know, you're having that, uh, you're finally saying no to this person with their patterns. And I feel like that is a good position to be in because we should never wait for anybody. We should get on with our life. Um, and uh, that's when you're spiritually ascending and growing. And when destiny intervenes, that is when the time, uh, either you come back into being with your person, your twin flame, or you go and uh, you, you be with a soulmate if you decided consciously uh, not to sur surrender to the union. Okay, and we got hope and fear. Uh, they wanted this one to join that card, which is patience. Sagittarian energy there. A lot of passion, but a lot of patience. Now, uh, they're also indicating, sorry, I just saw out of the corner of my eye, um, someone, uh, well, it was behind me, but they're showing me like a vision of someone um, wearing all black. Um, so either you're just trying on something that is all black um, and looking in the mirror because it felt like very much like I'm looking behind me to look in it like I'm seeing myself. So if that's you as you're listening to this reading, there's something in this message for you. Uh, but during the downtime, during that patience time, uh, Virgo, there's been um, a time to re-examine your priorities and put yourself first. That is the priority. We cannot give love with an empty cup. 
we must have our own cup full first before we can offer it to another. And I feel like this person, their cup was full of insecurity, a feeling of low self-esteem, some ancestral wounding, and uh, some jealousy there as well. And that was the cup that they were giving to you because that's all they could offer. Now remember, there's just gonna be a sentence for you to remember, which is, we can only meet each other as deep, sorry, we can only meet another as deeply as we have met ourselves. And this person may have shied away from the spiritual work, okay? So I feel like that is changing. Um, and the solution position, six of fire is success. It is movement forward, okay? This person, um, when you get a six of fire, it's a six of wands, that indicates that there is some sort of uh, news coming your way that is going to make you smile, okay? This is a successful union, should you want it to be. Um, it feels very much like you and this person will be moving forward and overcoming the obstacles they really want me to show you uh, this card okay it may seem like it's a long way away and that you've sacrificed a lot but as you can see it's on the horizon it's coming on in here now because you're surrendering to the union by walking away from it the obstacles are there for your person to move forward through and i feel like justice will be yours if you want it okay um there's definitely an energy here that um if you want this union um it can be uh, change for the better and I'm just going to clarify uh, just a little bit of energy before I close this reading thank you so much no they don't want this deck okay sorry yeah, okay thank you so much thank you so much for it guys my angels can you please guide my beautiful Virgo uh, they are giving me the name Patricia that has come up a couple of times now um, in the last year um, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone. Um, we have nine of voices. So this is an anxious sort of state here. This person is very anxious because, and perhaps even having sleepless nights. Uh, they may tell you about that. This person, um, if you've noticed also that you are uh, finding it difficult to sleep and you're thinking about your twin flame, it's because this person is energetically calling you back to them. Okay, they, especially at nighttime okay in bed uh, they really want you to highlight they really want me to highlight that for you that this person is, you're awake in this person's dreams they're really trying to call you in so um very very connected at this time um anything further that my beautiful virgo needs to know anything they need to know for their highest good before we close this reading whoa uh, we have the four materials and we have the moon card. This person's going to tell you that they want long-term security with you. They want the, to go the distance. Okay. The four of pentacles there for materials indicates this is for the long haul. You can be with this person should you want to be Virgo, but they want to invest fully. Uh, they are spiritually ascending and we've got the moon card here. They're facing their fears. They want to invest in a connection and this person they're, they're just going they've been going deep within for all the lessons that lie within them they've been going through the shadow side there's a metamorphosis of this person and i feel like um they're anxious because they they feel like that they push this away so much that now they could really like lose it forever that's the energy um sorry they just said one more so uh i'll go one more Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Eight of Inspiration. This person is definitely going to hot trot it to you straight away. We've got Eight of Inspiration, which is the Eight of Wands. This person, uh, double confirmation, this person is going to come to talk, okay? This is change. This person is making change, and you will hear from them um, about these changes. Um, I feel like this person does not want to um, lose you. They're rushing on in. As you can see, all those, it's almost like, all their intention, everything, can you see those lines? They are not even wavering. They don't want anybody else. They got only eyes for you and they're coming, Virgo. They're coming to um, try to make it work. But you're in an energy of you've waited a long time and you're feeling like uh, maybe this is a toxic kind of situation. It's time to walk away. So just as you're walking away, they're coming on in. Um, so that is the energy that I'm getting from this reading. Now let us uh, see the advice from the vintage uh, tarot there. We got nature. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Whenever I get the nature card, there's an indication here that uh, you need to let this uh, organically ascend if you want to be with this person. Um, it will happen in divine timing. Uh, so let nature take its course as we see fate is intervening here. And we also have love. Okay, this person, as you can see, a spiritual ascension and awakening here with that light in the background. We've also got a dove here, but there is love. You and this person, there is deep, deep love. They, they really do 
know that you are their twin flame and no matter where they've gone Virgo no one has had a heart as pure as yours and I know that doesn't make any difference um, to your situation but I hope you can see that in between in the distance there there's two like um, mountains okay and right in between there's like a, an awakening here and in the shadow of that awakening there is a tree now that tree is um, the tree of life Okay, it is the hangman kind of energy of wisdom, sacrifice, getting a different perspective, uh, loving yourself fully, and then coming into being with your counterpart. So that's what I'm getting here. Um, before we close this reading, I'm just going to get a wisdom of the oracle. Oh, how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Higher power. This is... Now, this is the uh, Emperor card, just to let you know, but what's really interesting about this, the Higher Power card indicates that... Um, there are higher forces at work here, Virgo. If you felt like this relationship was blocked when you first met, it was um, kind of on an uneven keel, um, it was for a reason, okay? And I feel like this person is manifesting you back into their life, but also I feel like you and this person have a psychic bond between each other, um, and he, th th they're calling you in, okay? Also, they really want you to connect to spirit. Uh, I'm being guided to give you, uh, they want you, sorry, it's really interesting. Uh, they're telling me uh, they really want you to connect with spirit and then they're showing me a plate of fries okay so um okay yeah so if that's you having some fries then there's something in this message for you okay um sorry i was just uh, trying to check on in there um now number four let's see uh just as i'm opening the book to get uh they said four knocks at the door, four knocks at the door. So either this person um, has tried to, will, will try and message you four times before you actually uh, message them or actually you've just received four knocks at your door. Uh, please take it as it resonates. Relationship message. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority right now. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Okay, it brings you back to your authenticity. And you're always authentic, Virgo. There's never a time when you're not. Um, but I feel like you and this person were meant to spiritually ascend separately so that you come back to being, okay? This person was essential to your growth. You were meant to meet this person for a reason. And although it is painful, um, that's the twin flame way, unfortunately. Now, I'm just going to get you a trinket before we close. So thank you so much, Spirit Guide, going Angel. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Oh, wow. So we have a feather here. So a definite meeting of minds. You and this person are so alike. But also, I want to say so different, but I feel like it's more alike than different. I feel like you and this person are really kind of... Um, what's really interesting, we got the crown as well. So there is definitely crown chakra uh, activation. But also whenever I get the crown, it indicates spiritual ascension. And it indicates maturity because uh, it's, it signifies the emperor card. Planning for the future, uh, spiritually ascending, and this person taking the lead to come towards you. Uh, now I know they're showing me this as a, a feather here. But they're actually showing me an image of a quill. Uh, so either you are one of those people who I adore, who like old style writing and use a quill, or it's difficult to use, so perhaps you can't use it all the time. Maybe um, you've got like a quill that's in the shape of um, one of those uh, calligraphy pen type things, fountain pens. Uh, maybe it's kind of a, a hybrid kind of thing. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. Um, but also they're showing me a very, very gray, almost light blue, uh, type feather okay now if this is something that you found that was on your walk your walk or something it's very unique um, if that's you that you found it, it was placed on your path for a reason please think about whatever it was that you were thinking about then spirits giving you an indication that it was positive okay whatever that means positive as in a positive outcome or a positive answer like a yes or something uh, it was something that you would enjoy that's what they're giving me here they want this on the wheel of fortune and the crown, okay? They actually want this on higher power. Wow. I've never really had them wanting it on an actual advice card. Anyway, my beautiful Virgo, I will leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. Uh, they keep saying the word Daniel to me as well, Daniel. They've been saying it a lot, like uh, obsessively. So again, if your name is Daniel or your person's name is Daniel, there's something in this message for you. Again, if it does not connect in some way, um, then 
it may not, uh, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, it just means uh, that they just want that person to pay close attention. I hope something resonated in this reading for you, my beautiful Virgo. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That's important because it lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, I just want to clarify the scammers are about on a lot of YouTube channels right now for tarot readers. Uh, please don't give your money to them. Please don't give your time to them. I will not contact you personally ever um, for money. Uh, I don't want your money. I don't want donations. I'm very grateful that you want to give donations, but please give to a charity of your choice. I will not take your money, okay? So if someone reaches out to you for money, it is not me. It never will be me. Even the competition, the giveaways I do for people once a month or so, they're free. Free to enter, free to win, free to accept the reading. I don't want money from you, okay? Save your money, spend it on yourself, your family, your loved ones. Love yourself with that hard on money, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. I will leave that there. Love and light.